How do I do it? Raise my daughter, work as director of office purchasing for this hospital, and release an album of Doris Day covers on my own label? And if I knew, I'd tell you. I think The Office was like my 13th pilot of my career. So I was used to pilots, you know, coming and going and, you know, short-lived series that would be six episodes or, you know, two, two seasons or whatever. Um, so I really was the, 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 the last one in the cast to believe our success, I think. Um, and I only believed it once I was carrying around that first SAG award all night long. And the next day I woke up and I couldn't raise my arm. I needed physical proof <laughs> that, we had, <laughs> that we had actually succeeded. And the fact that, it, you know, that I have fans anywhere from 10 years old to, you know, 70 at this point is just, it's remarkable. It really, it's really quite amazing. And, um, yeah, so I, I I feel really, really fortunate and it's super fun to be on a show that's become iconic and a character that's become iconic and to uh, to be part of that is beautiful. I was 17 at the time too. So very, very painful. There's no doubt it was very painful. Um, but I think I'd already had painful things happen. So I knew how to get through things. It was definitely a heartbreak. And, you know, and my parents were very loving through it, I guess. And, you know, so that helped. But I feel like um, if it hadn't happened that way, you know, my career probably would have been quite different. You know, I, I wouldn't have probably done The Office. You know, I would have probably been doing other things. Um, so I think that, you know, with, with perspective of age and time, you know, certainly in the moment, it, it looked like just a complete, the awful thing. But looking back on it, it's like, eh, it's probably good. Well, even the more interesting thing really about the story to me is that it was Bob Zemeckis and Bob Gale were actually fine with me being taller than Michael J. Fox. Um, it was female executives at the time that felt it emasculated their lead character for him to have a taller girlfriend. And I just found that out about two years ago or a year ago when this guy was writing a full a full book about the Back to the Future saga. And um, and he called me and interviewed me and he said, did you know, he said, Bob Gill and Bob Zemeck both told me that it was not, they were, they, and they were heartbreaking. They both called me personally together to tell me. And they sent me this giant bouquet of flowers that I don't know that I've ever seen a, a, such a big bouquet of flowers. But, um, but you know, they, they were, I think that's a very interesting sign of the times, you know, if you think about that in terms of two female executives and those executives were quite like Jan, you know, that's sort of how I played, that's how I played Jan. I, I, I felt like she was always, you know, a woman coming up in a man's world and she felt she had to kind of masculate herself to become more, and she really wasn't masculine. She was very feminine. And that's why in my mind, the truth of Jan was, I never ever thought of her as a bitch. I always thought of her as, you know, just un unraveling because she was she was sort of trying to go against her nature so much to be successful. But ultimately, that's why she was attracted to Michael because she could be like girly, womanly with him. And yeah, so I feel like uh, I feel like it's an interesting sign of the times that it was the female executives that that felt like they had to be protecting the masculinity of their lead character that way. Right. I think that says so something about the feminism of the time, you know? It's all the feel good, you know, but a, a little different than, than Hallmark's uh, normal, you know, fair in the sense that this is really about, um, you know, a woman kind of reconnecting with her grown children and because my character is a romance novelist, she sort of has a tendency to sort of spin love everywhere she goes um, while she's healing her own heart. And I felt like they did take some more risks and do some, do some fun things. 